Hello and welcome to My Payroll Online. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pay run using the Attendance Register option. First we go to the Attendance Register screen and check that the employee is listed in the Batch Employee list box. If not, we will need to go to the Employee Setup screen. Select the employee. Let's select Mike. Navigate to Payment Details. Here we have the option Attendance Register. Select Enable and Save. If we go to the Attendance Register screen now, we will find that Mike does display in the Batch Employee Disk box. Select Scheduling. Select Mike Smith. Go to the 2nd of November. Select Schedule. And here you will find the increments are half an hour. 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30. This can be changed by going to Management Screen. Business Rules. Working Day Time Interval. 10 minutes. And Save. Here you will see that it is set to 10 minutes increments. For now, we will set it back to half an hour. Business rules. Working day time intervals, 30 minutes and save. Go to the schedule screen, select Mike Smith. Select. Double click on 2nd November. Select schedule. And for Mike on the 2nd November, select his hours. Seven, highlight seven. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and half past four. Highlight this. This means Mike has worked from seven to five, starting half past four to five. And use. This entry will now display in the time and attendance entry list box. Mike Smith worked from seven to five, 10 hours. You can edit this entry. Edit entry. Hold down your control key on your keyboard and select half past 12 to one and use. You will find that you have two entries. Mike has worked from seven, half past 12, from half past one to five. This means he had an hour lunch break and he has worked nine hours. Go to 3rd of November, double click. Select schedule and highlight seven. Hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select half past four and use. Mike Smith from the 3rd of November has worked from seven to five. Click on this entry. Three buttons appear. Set to actual, edit entry or remove entry. Let's select edit entry. Hold down the control key on the keyboard and click on half past 12 and one for his hour lunch break. You have to understand that the way the attendance register works is to start at the scheduling and then schedule the hours. And from scheduling, we will set these hours to actual. Setting the hours to actual means you are pulling it through to the attendance register. You will start by highlighting Mike Smith. Double click on 2nd of November. We take his first entry. Let's select that. We find that at status it shows schedule schedule set it to actual status is now actual meaning it has been pulled through to the attendance register select the second entry set it to actual and you will find that it has pulled through to the attendance register mike smith double click third november first entry set it to actual Second entry, set it to actual. Go to the attendance register screen, select Mike, double click on the 2nd of November, and here you will find the two entries. Status, actual, actual. Double click, 3rd November, and two entries for 3rd November. Actual, actual. Here you can also add overtime. Let's say, Mike has worked from five. Hold down the shift key till seven. Highlight those and use. You will find that Mike Smith from five to seven has worked two hours overtime at 1.5 overtime rate. 
You can complete the rest of the dates on the scheduling screen and then set it to actual which will pull it through to the attendance register. For now, we leave only those two days. We go to Pay Run. We select Mike. You will find that his entries display a basic salary, normal hours, overtime 1.5, and his deductions. Do an authorization report. Check that this is correct. Finalize payslip. Select yes. Print detailed payslip. Select yes. The system generates the payslip. Go to file. Print. And print this payslip. Make payments. Mark it as paid. And you can print this for your records. Select printer and select print. You will find if you select Mike now, there are no entries under payments or deductions. It will read, there is no current payslip. Activate new cycle. Go to manage cycles. Activate new cycle. Select OK. First print EMP 201. Select EMP 201 here. Print. And activate next cycle. Are you sure? Select yes. Select Mike and here you will see his entries. Note that the entries are zero as they are calculated from the scheduling and the attendance register. Thank you, that is all for today.